Welcome everyone to my channel again. Today we have a very nice radical equation. The question reads, the fourth root of x equal to 1 minus the square root of x. What there will be the value of x? Before we go into today's challenge, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, do well to turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop Unsolved video, wonderful video. Because at Online Mass TV, we drop nice video all the time for your learning, for your fun. Now, let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So, we take our solution to this radical equation. So, we take solution. Let's put down our question, which is the fourth root of x equal to 1 minus the square root of x. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is to rearrange this equation before we proceed. So, this will now give us here the fourth root of x plus your square root of x equal to 1. Now, having rearranged this, what we do next is this. We have to bring in another alphabet to represent your Fourth root of x and the square root of x. So from here we can say here, let let's say let let's use L p p be equal to um, the fourth root of our x. Okay, this is fourth root, please fourth root of x, which is same thing as your x to the power of one all over four. Okay. Then, if we say let p be equal to x to the power of 1 all over 4, then we have to get our x to the power of 1 all over 2. And so, if we decide to square p, that will give us x to the power of 1 all over 2. And so, our p square from here is equal to the square root of x, which is equal to your x to the power of 1 all over 2. Now, having established this fact, then we cannot go back to our equation and replace your fourth root of x and the square root of x with p and p square. And so our equation with there becomes your uh, p plus your p squared equal to 1. So let's rearrange because this is a quadratic so rearranging this, we're going to have this to be your p squared plus your p minus 1 equal to 0. So we only move this one on the right hand side to the left hand side. So now that we have our system of quadratic equation, if you look at this carefully, we cannot solve this equation, this quadratic equation using the factorization method. And so we resort to the formula method. So using the formula method, what does this is? It says that here we have p is equal to minus uh, b plus minus the square root of your b squared minus 4ac. Okay, 4ac all over 2a. So let's go ahead and bring out our a, b, c according to the quadratic equation. From the quadratic equation, we have a is equals to the coefficient of p squared, which is 1, and b is the coefficient of p, which is 1, and c is the constant term, which is minus 1. Okay, let's substitute these values into our quadratic formula. So from here, we're going to have our p is equal to your minus 1 plus minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 into 1, the bracket into minus 1, again, all over your 2 into 1. All right. We open up everything to give us here minus 1 plus minus, okay? The square of 1 is 1. The minus times minus will give us here plus the 4 times 1 times 1 will give us the 4. All over 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so 
we go ahead this will give us here minus 1 plus minus the square root of 5 because 1 plus 4 will give us 5 or all over your 2 here we have two values of p from this equation here so we have this to be this is same thing as your minus 1 plus your root 5 all over 2 or your minus 1 minus root 5 all over 2. Again, if you look at this solution, we can rewrite this first expression here now. We can equally rewrite this expression here. So we're going to have this to be your P1. So we have, let's take our P1 is equal to, if we rewrite this, we're going to have this to be the square root of 5, okay, minus 1 all over 2. Then your P2, which is your case 2, so P2 is equal to, we have this to be minus bracket your 1, there plus root 5 all over your 2. Okay, so let's look at these two cases we have in here now. Mind you, at first we don't have P in our system so we now go to where we said um, let P be equal to your x to the power of 1 all over 4 and P square equal to your x to the power of 1 all over 2 so let's go ahead and substitute so from here we said recall recall that we said P is equal to recall that we said P is equal to x to the power of 1 all over 4 then your p squared is equal to x to the power of 1 all over 2. So we're taking our first case. So remember our first case? Look at our first case here. Case 1 is this. So from case 1, we're going to replace p with case 1. So we'll now take here case 1. Case 1. Where is the value of p? We said p is equal to which is our p1 is equal to the square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2. Now that we have p1 is equal to this. So if we take this case into consideration, so we have to square this expression we have in here now. So if we square this as we have here, then we equally square this side of our equation term. Okay, so when I have our p squared, when I be what is equal to bracket the square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2, bracket, bracket, the square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2, or uh, plus bracket. So let's go ahead and repeat this bracket. So we use this 5 here, square root of 5 here to multiply this, we equally use this to multiply this. Okay, then we come to the one, we use one to multiply this, we equally use one to multiply this. So if we go ahead to open up this, we're going to have this it's equal to, you have square root of 5 times, square root of 5 will give us square root of 25, the square root of 5 times minus 1 will give us minus the square root of 5, then we come to 1 here. So minus 1 times the square root of 5 will give us minus the square root of 5 minus 1 times minus 1 will give us plus 1 all over 2 times 2 will give us 4. Now the square root of 25 will give us 5. So here we now have this to be 5 minus minus square root of 5 minus square root of 5 we give us here 2 into the square root of 5 the plus 1 all over 4 again we proceed so we cannot add 5 and 1 together this we give us 6 minus 2 root 5 all over 4 okay now let's take this gradually if you watch carefully 2 is common to the numerator, 2 is equally common to the denominator. So if we factor out 2, this will automatically give us yeah, 3 minus 
the square root of 5 all over 2. So this is the value of our p square. So mind you, this p square is equal to your x to the power of 1 all over 2. So automatically, we're going to have this to be x to the power of 1 all over 2 equal to your 3 minus the square root of 5 all over 2. So we've not gotten the actual value of our x. So how do we now get the actual value of our x? Because what we have here now is x to the power of 1 all over 2. So for us to get the value of x here, we have to square both sides of the equation again. So if we square this, 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 we leave. So our x is now exposed. Then we carry out another operation here again. So we now have here 3 minus root 5 all over 2 bracket bracket into your 3 minus the square root of 5 close bracket all over 2. Again, we open up this. So this will now give us 3 times 3 will give us 9. Then 3 times minus root 5 will give us minus 3 root 5. We come to this 5. So we have here minus root 5 times 3 will give us minus 3 root 5. Then minus root 5 times minus root 5 will give us plus root 25. Okay. All over 2 times 2 will give us 4. Again, we simplify this. If we simplify this, this will give us here 9 minus minus 3 root 5 minus 3 root 5 will give us your minus 6 root 5 there plus square root of 25 will give us 5. So we have here 5 all over your 4. We are almost there. Then we cannot add 5 and 9 together. If we do that, we're going to end up having your 14. So we have 14 minus 6 root 5 all over 4. Again, if you check this, 2 can go into 4 and 2 can go into 14. So if we simplify down, we're going to have this to be your 7 minus 3 root 5 all over your 2. Okay, so therefore our x is equal to your 7 minus 3 root 5 all over your 2. Okay, so this is the actual value of x. All right, for case 2, if you put p2 into our expression here, which is p equal to the uh, fourth root of x, or p squared is equal to x to the power of 1 all over 2, it will not satisfy our equation. And so we discard case 2. Okay, so case 2 is rejected. Case 2, two, case two solution is rejected okay so the only solution that will satisfy our equation is p1 which is case one and that is what we have solved for here already so i've gone ahead to substitute this value into the original equation which is the ra radical equation this original radical equation i've gone ahead i've substituted that value into this equation and it actually satisfy this our original equation Okay, so you can actually use calculator to simplify this down if you want to get the uh, answer in a numerical form. Okay, if you use calculator to simplify this down and you put it into the original equation, it will give you the correct answer. Remember, I love you so much because you are always there. Bye for now.